So we got Grand Finals. Uh, so, fun opting to go Bayonetta versus uh, Dill's Rob. This is, a, honestly, this is a really good pick because Fawn has a very long history playing Bayonetta and uh, because of like Rob's, so memes aside, because of Rob's size, a lot of her combos that like kind of worked, uh, that worked in Smash 4, like still has access to like longer strings uh, in Ultimate versus Rob. Uh, I don't know, it probably versus some other big body characters, but Rob being one of them uh, makes it that this is a very viable uh, counter pick. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure the last time uh, these two fought, Fawn did take it over Dill uh, in this matchup. Ooh, Fawn gonna be taking the first stock, only taking 80 damage. Uh, that's that's kind of a big deal. Uh, it's not like you know, it's not like that she's like super heavy or anything. But like you know, these are just situations that like um, Dill's gonna have to work really hard to, to find a situation, uh, an opportunity for a kill. And so like this is like we're in the lowish part of high damage now, um, and we're still on battlefield. Ooh, that could be it. Nope. Battlefield going to do farm a solid. By the way, Dill's uh, stage strikes were town. And Smashville, and then uh, Fawn's strikes were FD and PS2. Sorry, I had to do some tweets. Retweet the stream, please. Helps a lot. Anyway, uh, ooh, was gonna mention Dill evening up those uh, the stock from a little while back, but she was at super high percent. Fawn with a great offstage, like kind of just pressure and coverage, uh, catches Dill with the witch twist and then takes her off the side. Now, once again, Fawn with a pr uh, pretty strong stock lead. Goes for the witch time landing on the gyro. She's gonna have to be a lot more careful about where she leaves that thing. Uh, uh. Wow, great tech. Also, great attempt by Fawn. Like honestly, like it's like, oh, okay, you want to like maybe die here? Oh, that's you're gonna super die there. No, I guess not. Never mind. Never mind. Great mash out of the down throw by Fawn. Still trying to get this edge guard going, but uh, loses control of it. Fawn. Uh, uh, oh, that's going to be problem? No. Okay. All right. And, uh, and up air finally going to take Fawn off the top, but is it too little too late? With Dill at 153%. Got to tech that. No techies. All right, Fawn taking game one. What are they going to ban? Town and FD. Okay. We're going to Kalos. Yeah, understandable. I uh, want to keep the blast zones as big as possible. Uh, you know, when you're when you're the big body and it's your counter pick, especially with like how these work, you're like she's gonna have. Uh, Dill's gonna try and make Fawn uh, have to carry her really far uh, to, you know, take any of these like combos off the side, and stuff like that. So, Dill's counter pick going to Kalos. See how uh, 
what adjustments they can make uh, to bring this back. Or will Fawn take Xeno 254 uh, 2 up? So far, pretty even, even trade. Still with a small lead, but not enough to really solidify. Getting closer, though. That's for sure. Wow. That didn't poke. And you know if Fawn was looking for that to poke, for sure. Ooh, okay. <laughs> spooky, spooky stuff. All right, Fawn has done, been doing a fantastic job of like preventing Dill from being able to land for the longest. And that's how we got these percents back evened up. Now, who's gonna, uh, who's gonna take this skill? Up tilt back air, not gonna be enough. Talos definitely doing the favors, throwing the gyro in the ceiling uh, of the of the off the camera, and Fawn getting hit, <laughs> shooting blind, and Fawn dying off the top from that. That's actually crazy. Hey, what up, Hazmat? All right, still at 212. It is real brawl hours right here. Lift it, living forever. Uh, which time not AOE, not the, not strong enough, far enough, close enough. I can't talk. I'm sorry. I'm uploading this VOD. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, still at 212. Uh, really hanging on to the stock, and like this is what the counter pick is. This is what this stage lets you do. You know, it's like I'm huge, I'm heavy, and I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna use these uh, battlefield blast zones. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Yes, yeah, super it. Okay, so now back up to even percents here. Uh, Fawn still on the back foot. Going. Ooh. Okay. Really good awareness. Trying to like just kind of reverse that situation with the witch time because the gyro was right there waiting. Witch time. Counter me. But still gonna be landing a back air. Killing Fawn off the side. Now, full stock lead. Uh, really good situation for Dill. Fawn getting the first hit in uh, on these fresh stocks. But doesn't get too much off of it. Dill able to take her turn and get some, uh, some damage in. Okay. Fawn sneaking in. Getting a hit. Trying to get, uh, start a juggle situation. Ooh, but... Dill reverses it, gets her own hit, knocking up. Okay. So close. Dill hanging out in shield because, uh, just like afraid of the witch time because you know the gyro was there. Goes for like a you know super long uh, spot dodge. Uh, still ended up getting hit by it. You know, fawn ready for stuff like that. But now, like, oh, that that might be it. Super it actually. Okay. Dill takes game two. We're in the, the final game of this uh, first set, if it is the first. Dill thinking, ooh, Dill being careful on what her bands are. I think trying to definitely try and keep open large blasts on stages. Getting rid of Small Battlefield and Hollow Bastion. On, not sure what stage to go to, hovering around it, but then uh, locks it in on Smashville. So, potential last game of tonight, or we might see another set. Let's see what happens. All right, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be very paramount for who takes the lead early on in this game, uh, so that they can play uh, in advantage. Like it, it is just, it, it's really gonna come down to that. Uh, what is Dill gonna have to do to Chinrai, uh, you know, and like make this turn this into her game? And what does Fawn need to do to trying to turn this into their game? And is that gonna be enough off the top? No, Smashville does have a taller ceiling, so that might have been it. Um, it is worth noting, you know, like, the way Dill took that first stock, killing uh, Fawn off the top with that gyro, kind of, like, 
kind of like a lucky sort of scenario kill. Um, like clutch, yes, but not something that you're really going to see in like a normal situation. And like, you know, uh, you can't really rely on something like that. Ooh, Fawn going for that forward smash. Almost taking it. Dale, not like this. Okay. Okay. All right. We're in Smash 4. Two stocks. Zero percent. Six minutes on the... This is literally Smash 4. That's actually nuts. All right. Cool. Bayonetta's on the screen. Ooh. Okay. Almost reversing that combo. That string. Is that going to be enough? No. Goes for a little bit of a reset there. You know, that that's uh, the ultimate changes for sure. Boom. Ah! Nair gonna stuff out. Uh, I'm sorry. Bayo Nair gonna stuff out the Rob Nair. I was gonna say Ro Nair stuffing Nair. Ooh, okay. Bill kind of doing uh, stuff on stage, just kind of like swinging, putting herself in uh, in cooldown, and then Fawn finding that opening. That's not gonna be enough. But Fawn still seeking, looking for that kill, making sure that Dill cannot land for free. The sort of lands for free, but and the pressure's on. The pressure's on. <clears throat> Still trying to throw the gyro like from, uh, from shield, and then uh, Fawn just doing an empty landing grab, just being like, "I know you're waiting for me to just like swing, so I'm not." I don't know about that one, Dill. Oh, actually, no. That that was a uh, a miss input on a B reverse uh, gyro. Which might end up spelling defeat for Dill, because now she's on her last stock. This is a, this is a tough situation. Fun building, lots of damage. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Sure. I guess. All right. This is Fawn's game to lose. Not gonna take. Not gonna be enough to take Dill up the top. Going for a uh, forward smash. Ooh. Starts the bail combo on top of the platform. That might be it. And it is. Fawn takes Xeno 254 over Dill. Not the most glamorous grand finals with uh, with some silly SDs, but good stuff by both players. <laughs> yeah, I think this is just like the, the return kill. Yeah, boom. Yeah, both of them just kind of exploding, being like, let's make this Smash 4. All right. All right. Uh, so congratulations to Fawn. Uh, not dropping a set, winning. Uh, from, uh, what is it? Yeah, winning from winner side. So yeah, great job taking Zeno two fifty four. We'll see that one more time. Get the fist bump. And I'm gonna try my best to get uh, this uh, this outro going. Let's see if everything works. All right. Yeah. So everyone, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night. Uh, this is Devin 2000 commentating. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. It's very stressful uh, running the stream and doing it, but you know we we we, we out here. We try. We, we we're doing our darndest. Um, See you guys next week. And then see you at Shine. Have a good one. Goodbye.